Hey guys and welcome to the video. So here today this one is the exact same video as yesterday. The only thing is I've had to re-edit it and I had to block out some stuff because I didn't notice in all the excitement of this official hen release that I had recorded some stuff that could have easily gotten this channel a copyright strike or a copyright violation and maybe even gotten the actual site in trouble. So we definitely don't want either of those things. You guys already know we're kind of on thin ice for the next like month and a half or so. So yeah, we have to play it safe. The video got like over uh, 3,300 views in less than 24 hours which is great for this channel and like 270 something likes compared to just one dislike which is fantastic too and I just I, I can't thank you guys enough a sincere appreciation and many thanks for the views for uh, all the likes uh, of course we got to find the one person that disliked it but anyway in all seriousness uh, just my sincere gratitude going out to all of you out there and uh, and yeah i'm going to keep bringing you all kinds of content i know there's still a lot of ps3 tutorials that I let you guys know I was working on. Those are still coming as well as Switch stuff. We're going to continue with all this PS4 stuff as well. So um, later on tonight or at some point tomorrow, I'm going to release a short video because people have run into some issues with this new hen stuff so i'm just going to address those couple of issues in their own uh individual video oh and in the future guys if you ever see something in one of my videos that are like that that's kind of questionable especially when it comes to things like copyrighted stuff or whatever it may be let me know in the comment section i mean nobody is perfect usually these things don't get by me but you know sometimes people get caught up in the moment and don't notice stuff and you know nobody is perfect so make sure you let me know so i can address it like in this case i i would have never known unless it was brought to my attention so much love going out to everybody out there for those who didn't watch the video yesterday i hope you enjoyed it for those that did hey drop that like again and i appreciate all of your support and we'll see you soon on the next one hey guys and welcome to the video this one here is going to be fairly quick this is not going to be a tutorial this is just kind of a public service announcement type thing because we now have official hen for 6.72 ps4s ps4 hen 2.1.3 is now live and ready to go for your 6.72 systems this was put out very early this morning by scene developers juni and sistro and if juni sounds familiar that's because uh, that developer is part of Team Rebug and the author of the Rebug CFW for PS3. And of course, Sistro has been around uh, forever. Anyway, um, the hen itself is here in a 7-zip file. This is open source. You can go to the GitHub as well, get it there. If you want to host this latest hen along with all the payloads and everything yourself, the uh, rare file is here that has all the files you need, including the index file for those of you who know how to do that. Now, later this week, I am going to do a video, maybe two, showing you how to self host these files yourself and how to even do it like from your phone and stuff. It's fairly easy and straightforward. And so anyway, you have those options there. Now, before we continue, I have to address the spoofing, the 7.51 spoof that comes with this. I know those of you who are on 505, you already know kind of how this works, but there are many people who are new to the scene with 6.72 and think that this 751 works kind of like the way PS3 spoofing did. Unfortunately, it does not. This is primarily something for VR. So if you have like a VR kit with your 6.72 uh, PS4, this will spoof it to get it to work. This will not allow you to go online on 7.51. This will not allow you to play games that require firmware higher than 6.72. It will not do any of that. If you want more details, they provided a couple of links here. You can see the two here links right there and then the other one right here that go into a little bit more detail and explain it. But no, you will not be able to go online with this spoof or play anything above 6.72 firmware requirement. 
All right, so developer lethal has set this up here. So if you don't want to self host, you can come here and use um, this latest exploit hen. Lethal is the one behind the popular PS4 uh, host menu, the one where the four is spelled out. Anyway, this is the same thing that you get from this rare file that's right here that we talked about a minute earlier, but you can just type the address into the browser of your PS4 and then you're brought here. You got all the payloads that are up to date. This is all for 6.72. Now up here, this might get a little bit confusing, but the one you need is the load exploit plus hen. That is the 2.1.3 you can see up here too that this is 672 version 5 just like the latest rare file that's here so that is ready for you to use right now i'm going to go ahead and fire up my ps4 and see how it looks there and how it functions but i already know that it is super stable just like the ones from 5.05 .05. so let's go ahead and set that up real quick all right, guys, so here we are on my PS4. Now, before we begin, I know I said this wasn't going to be a tutorial, but I am going to give you a couple of recommendations. Whenever I use one of these new host menus, especially when they automatically cache, because this one does, I recommend that you clear out anything that's been cached already in your PS4. Now, in order to do that, you need to make sure that the system is completely off, not on standby mode. When it's completely off, unplug it from the back of the console. Make sure it stays unplugged for a minimum of 30 seconds. Then plug it back in and fire it up. Then when you come here, uh, to your browser what I like to do is go into my settings and I like to delete all the cookies and clear all the website data if you want to clear out your bookmarks you can do that too although I really don't think that's necessary but anyway I do all of this just as kind of like a precautionary thing because I want to make sure everything goes as smooth as it possibly can when I'm using one of these new host menus. All right, so now that you've done all of that, let's head on back to the browser. You're gonna go ahead and go over to Lethal's site, which I already have here because I was using this before, so it's already there. Now, once you do this and you come here, it's going to automatically do the offline cache. Once it's done, it'll say it was successful, and then it's gonna tell you to close the browser and reopen it. Once it's been cached, you can now use this offline. So I'm just gonna go ahead, hit the PS button. Let's go back, All right? And we can go ahead and, uh, oops, let's head on over to the exploit here. And now when you head on over to it, you'll notice it's not going to cache anything. And the one most people are going to use is the HEN 2.1.3, which is this one right here, the load exploit and HEN together. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it's going to go ahead, load the exploit. It's gonna do HEN. It's gonna say launching payload. And that's it. You get the same welcome to hen notification that we got when we were on 505. And at this point, you can go about your business loading payloads or doing whatever it is you want to do. So before we go and show you the debug settings or whatever, keep in mind, guys, those who are new, and I know there's a lot of people new to 6.72, that this is not like custom firmware on the PS3 this still can cause kernel panic you can still get your ps4 to freeze and whatnot because again it's not cfw but on these official hens it happens far less it tends to happen more when you start using multiple payloads without rebooting your system so right now if you used bin loader and then you load it up FTP and then you use dumper. Once you start using multiple payloads without rebooting the system and starting the process all over again, then you run a higher chance of running into kernel panic. The, uh, I, I guess pretty much the, you know, rule of thumb is to maybe run just a couple of payloads and that's it. And then just reboot your system. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Let's go into uh, the settings here real quick scroll all the way down and you can see our debug settings right here 
and uh, let's go into the system information so you can see I am on 6.72 and that's it it's super easy so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna update my own host menus that I was working on so this one can be on there I'm gonna make some changes but yeah it's great that we finally got an official hen it didn't really take that long and you could probably expect this to get some updates in the near future i appreciate you guys watching as always much love going out to everyone out there don't forget to like the video be careful be safe but have fun guys and we will see you on the next one